Welcome to the AXA Campus Tour, where on Thursdays we take you to a part of the state and talk with the district administrator about the successes and challenges in their school community. Joining us today is Chris Hoffman, the superintendent from Elk Grove Unified School District. Chris, thanks so much for being with us today. Hey, glad to be here, Nash. Chris, your district one year ago was the first district in the state to close during the COVID-19 pandemic. And obviously, a lot of learning opportunities for you and your staff during that year. Can you tell us about a couple of those learning opportunities? Yeah, one of the biggest pieces is we learned um, how phenomenal the uh, the Elk Grove Unified uh, team is. I mean, the transformation from a you know a full regular school district to a uh, to a distance learning uh, model. Um, it took an incredible amount of effort and learning uh, from our staff, from our families, uh, from everybody to uh, to really make that work. And so, uh, so we just confirmed that uh, we have we have really good people committed uh, to doing the work. Another thing we learned was that uh, our commitment to continuous improvement is the right uh, vein to be in. Uh, the idea of uh, uh, we had to build a system that was flexible enough for 63,000 kids that could constantly um, make adjustments because the conditions continue to change, the, uh, the um, guidance that we received from the CDC, from the state, from the county continuously changes. And so the idea that we could build something and continuously get better uh, while also being able to be nimble enough uh, to make adjustments as the conditions and guidance warranted it was really important so just very proud of the team and now dates are set for some of your elementary school students to be able to come back to in-person learning here in march as you move towards that process in the last couple of months in this academic year what are the challenges that you and your staff see that you'll have to confront i think the easiest answer is the whole thing <laughs> um, from from top to bottom uh, and we have the protocol the safety protocols are in place the technology is in place uh, the um, professional development um, is in place the support structures uh, are in place but the reality is we don't know fully what it's going to look like and how people are going to respond so you're know, talking to that ability to be uh, to be nimble uh, we, we talk about we have the safety protocols in place, we have the technology, we have the plan in place, but we didn't spend time, uh, endless time, trying to identify every possible scenario and what the answer would be. What we have agreed to is, um, as a team, we have really good plans in place, and we're going to work with each other when a problem presents itself, and we'll take the best information we have in that moment, and we'll make the best decision we can uh, moving forward. So uh, the whole thing um, is uh, is on our minds uh, from top to bottom. And and we uh, we think we've done everything we need uh, to be ready, but we know things are going to come up that we just can't anticipate. Um, and we'll be ready for that. That's that's what that's what the team does. And that's where the trust comes into place. And that's where, you know, we, we rely on our relationships at that point. Now, social emotional wellness is a subject we've talked about for many years when it comes to students but this year we've talked more about the impact of social emotional wellness on students on staff on educators in general but i want to ask about you you've had to maintain positivity through this entire year what are some of the best practices that you have used for social emotional wellness and maybe some advice for district administrators as we move more towards the in-person learning yeah, well, I relied on my team um, a great deal. So we we have cabinet um, every Monday morning, uh, and we're still doing it Zoom. Um, and so I literally count people on the screen uh, to make sure that they all came back because the previous week was always nuts um, and uh, was was full of uh, unanticipated challenges. And they step up every single time and take care of it. But I'm always scared to death that they're finally going to say, "That's enough. I'm out, and you're on your own." Uh, but to date, they've all shown up um, every week. So uh, my cabinet team, uh, they have um, literally um, supported me um, in being able to do this work. The uh, commitment of my board and also uh, we have seven labor organizations and we affectionately call them uh, PI, Partners in Education, and their commitment to do this work together. 
in March, you know, we we went out and closed schools together. Um, and um, this March, we're opening schools and we're doing it together. So I, I like to say um, our labor partners were not the impediment that were keeping us from opening. They're actually um, why we're able to open. So my cabinet board, uh, my partners in education team, uh, those are all huge. But in the end, the thing that makes this thing all worthwhile is the work that's happening in the classroom uh, with our teachers and kids. And and seeing that work and seeing the um, everything that they're doing. This week happens to be Read Across, Read Across America Week. So I've uh, literally, literally read my favorite book, Where the Wild Things Are, mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to half a dozen um, classes already this week. I and mean, actually, the one I just got done with before this was a compilation of classes, and I read to 252 uh, uh, elementary age kids. So I was a little bit nervous, but I pulled it off. Um, <laughs> the kids are great. Um, so it's been it's been the team. It's it's, it's relying on uh, relying on the folks that we do the work with. Uh, you can't do this work alone. So my you know my advice to uh, to anybody in, in our in our work is uh, don't take this on alone. You, you have to have people that you can rely upon um, and that you can you can provide um, support to as well, but but you need them to be able to keep um, you going. And I rely on my my cabinet team, my board, my partner, partners in education uh, group, and then the, uh, the people doing the work and the kids, because that's really um, ultimately the inspiration of why, why we're in this business. You and I talking here, that's just a piece of cake, 250 yes. students, that's stress. Yes, and no, no retakes. They're all they're all watching, and it's being recorded. So, uh, any, any any blunders that I made at that point, uh, we're going to be caught forever. So, yeah, so so we're good. Good, good. Chris Hoffman, Superintendent, Elk Grove Unified School District. Chris, thanks so much for being with us today. I'm glad to do it. Be well. And thank you folks so much for joining us here on the AXA Campus Tour. Remember, on Thursdays, we take you to another part of the state and talk with a district administrator about the successes and challenges in their school community. That comes your way Thursdays here on the AXA Campus Tour.